Okay, what we have here is uh, a Subaru cylinder head, and this come from a rebuild shop that uh, is going to actually recondition the cylinder head. We're going to prove the process today on how well it cleans um, cylinder heads and other in engine uh, components as well. What you can see though is uh, we've actually just removed the valves from this particular piece and part, and uh, no pre-cleaning has been done uh, at this point. Uh, this is all just straight from an engine and uh, you can see pretty how dirty this piece is. There's a good glimpse. Again, no, no pre-wash, no parts wash. We're going to show you how it pulls all of the uh, grime, all of the carbon out of the cylinder head and uh, yeah, just how quick this can be. Um, if you do an application such as this, um, yeah, what kind of time saver it can be and of course what kind of cleanliness that you can get um, to, uh, to better your rebuilding process. So let's put it in the machine, uh, let's see what we can do with it and uh, we'll show you the after results. Okay, we're back again. Uh, we have blasted half of the cylinder head um, just to show you an example of, of before and after. So um, here's before. Um, you can see just the heavy contaminants, oils, greases, any corrosion, and then here is after. Um, look how extremely clean this is and the level of detail that you can get with this process. Um, even in the ports, which is hard to see there, threaded holes, so on and so forth. And then up here on the uh, cylinder head as well. What you're going to notice is the RTV sealant um, that was not removed with the process. Um, with the uh, abrasive that we were running in the machine, uh, which is a glass bead slurry, it's just going to roll right over the RTV sealant and it's not going to pull that off. Um, so that would be something you would have to scratch off or scrape off uh, before you were going to do your blasting. But again, this is just an example of, of what it can and cannot do. Um, with a piece. Same with uh, with gasket material. I mean, if you have gasket material that's heavily baked on, it's extremely hard. Um, this process with a glass bead slurry will not remove that. It's just too passive. It's going to give you great finishes with glass bead slurry. Um, however, you can also choose to run something a little more aggressive if you needed to in an application like this. Um, ceramic bead works well. Aluminum oxide slurries work well. Um, and those are, you know, even combinations of abrasives, you know, work well. Like glass beads combined with aluminum oxides uh, would work fine for this. But again, just look at, at the detail inside uh, this cylinder head here. Over here is uh, before, which it's not bad before internally, but you can still see, if I can zoom in, you can still see some of the uh, the contaminant that's on the piece, and then over here is after. And one thing to note too is to look at the cam journals, um, how extremely clean and smooth those are. We haven't damaged those. Uh, we did not mask those surfaces. They do not have to be masked. You're not actually removing large amounts of material uh, when you do this process. Again, we're rolling across the surface. We're not abrading away the surface because we're not directly impacting the surface with the abrasive um, like a dry glass bead would do. So let's uh, Let's flip this piece over real quick so you can see the, the ports. 
So again, before and then after. Those are the results you guys can expect. Um, whether you're doing this for production, whether you're doing this for yourself, these are the finishes that you can get uh, with this process. It's very easy. It's easy to set up. Um, it's easy to train an operator how to do this. This is not difficult at all to do. And these are repeatable results every single time. Here's a side view of this piece. So stay tuned for more information. Um, if you need to uh, reach out to us, our contact info is on the website. Uh, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email um, about an application that you might have. Thanks for watching.